AFL CEO Gillan McLaughlin is speaking. He's with the South Australian Premier as well. Uh, the AFL announcing a magic round in Adelaide where all clubs play in Adelaide on the same weekend. Let's listen in. Post the release of the fixture. Uh, again, I hope I'm not running ahead, but uh, I want to thank Darren Chandler of the Sandful, John Kernahan from the Adelaide Football League, but to give all South Australians, or as many South Australians, the uh, opportunity to come as possible. Uh, the Sandful and the Adelaide Football League will be having a weekend off or a bye weekend that weekend. Um, I think you, you, can, you can draw a line through this. We're going to bring the football here. We know uh, AFL fans love travelling. An average of 3,400 uh, supporters travel to every game. This is going to be massive for our game and it's going to be massive for South Australia and for Adelaide. Uh, the Premier and, this, and his team's ambitions are significant. I think Marquis all the way down the Torrens, uh, closing Norwood Parade if it happened to be at Norwood Oval. Um, um, state dinners, that's, I just made that up, but that sounds good. <laughs> um, big lunches, families bringing their kids for the weekend, girls trips, boys trips, the Barossa, McLaren Vale, showing off this state and football at the heart of it. It is going to be incredibly big and we're excited uh, to be standing here announcing it. Um, over the pandemic years, uh, South Australia played a hugely important role in the survival uh, of our game, so we're pleased to be able to bring what I think is going to be a, a, a legacy event for our code to start here in Adelaide in South Australia. And so on behalf of, of the, the AFL, I'd like to, to thank and congratulate Premier Melanouskas, uh, who has, I would say, almost single-handedly uh, wrested this initiative away from, from the other states, certainly he won. He has been determined. Um, I actually told him at one point he was a pest. Uh, it has been uh, just a high conviction, um, determined um, approach where he has prosecuted uh, the benefits for the league, how South Australia and his government and his team would make this a success. Uh, he camped outside presidents' meetings in a little tent. He looked like a, you know, someone had missed their international connection lying on the floor when I came out. He um, he he had put heavy tags on everyone in the Olympic room on Grand Final day. And and um, you know, I want to congratulate him for being so single-minded to secure this event in the first instance for his state because uh, it's been pretty impressive, Premier. So. Uh, we feel incredibly confident in what you and your team will deliver for our game and I know you're confident in what our game will deliver for this city and for this state and um, I'm, I'm frankly pretty excited looking forward to April next year so over to you and, and thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks very much, much you. There you go, pass the... the pill. Um, can I just start by, by thanking you, Gil, um, not just for your kind words but for the whole team in the AFL putting their confidence in the state of South Australia, putting on one hell of a show in April next year. Uh, make no mistake, this is a big victory for the state of South Australia and it's going to be a huge weekend of footy which everyone in our state, but more importantly everyone in our country, can enjoy. This is going to be an event that fills every single last hotel room in South Australia. There won't be a restaurant that won't be completely packed out. Uh, the bars better start ordering those kegs ASAP because... OK, that's the South Australian Premier joining AFL CEO Gillan McLaughlin uh, talking about the magic round, which is on the way for South Australia, where all clubs in the AFL play in the same weekend, similar to the NRL.